this is Ichi Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Today, we've got a decision to make to go to Baha'i to go after Yuan Chao, or settle the Jingzhou reason. But before I do that, I would like to buy a gold wing. Not that I really need it, so if you're short on money, you can skip on that. But I would like to have one at this point, and I'm doing pretty good on money. So I'm going to be going to Bohai to go after Yuan Chao because it's more relevant to the plot now and the enemies there are easier. If you want to go to Jingzhou, just go west from here and then south on the bridge. That'll take you over there. So these are kind of like chapter four and chapter five, but you can do them in either order. After dealing with some more enemies with our new Trident. So now, John Fei could probably one-shot some of these guys. But, yeah, everyone else is going to be quite a bit behind the Trident. So since Bohai Castle is to the east, logically, I should head to the west. Absolutely. But, th actually, there is a reason that I want to uh, go over this way first, and then we can go to Bohai Not that there's any treasure or anything over here, but there is a cave. So let's go check it out. The cave with no treasures, but there is a guy here. Hey, how's it going? This is a tunnel? Where? Well, screw you, pal. For boss time. Oh, uh, no boss time? Oh. Sorry about the battle transition there. I, 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 I didn't mean anything. You just tried to, or threatened to murder us, dude. Oh, you've got really good stats? Okay, yeah, sure, why not? More party members. Now notice how this guy says we will serve you faithfully. Uh, Lu Bu actually did not say those words verbatim there when he joined us, unlike I think pretty much every other NPC who joins our party in a text box. But, oh right, so the nice thing about Zhao Kang... Zhao Kang? No, no, that's another game of yours. But, uh, yeah, he's got pretty good strength, even better than Guan Ping. So, I'm going to give Liu Feng's equipment over to Zhao Kang there. So that way he can better take advantage of the weapons, but I still want to hold on to Liu Fang for his intelligence, primarily for boss fights, where they don't have very much intelligence. So Liu Fang will be very useful still in Chapter 4 here. Okay, and then as far as formation goes, let's put Xiao Kang in the fourth slot there. And make sure you don't put the tactician in the seventh slot there to avoid the chest glitch. Until then, we can deal with these guys slightly faster now. Yeah, you see how we killed that bandit force in one shot there? That was Zhang Fei there. He's the only one who has that kind of damage. Oddly enough, the trident has a hundred attack points while the spear only has 50, but the trident is more than three times the damage that you'll get out of a spear with the exact same stats there. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, they probably should have buffed the generic enemies a bit more in this chapter. And the next one, they're really easy. We'll eventually get to the point where most of us could one-shot generic forces like this. But the game will get more difficult in other ways. But anyway, yeah, you don't have to go all the way back here, like for a sequence trigger or anything. But I just wanted to show you, hey, there's a dude there and some, I guess, some kind of boulders in the way or a cave-in or something. I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that that guy is there. So now... Let's go use the gold wing to get out of here, and it can take you, well, not to any castle in the game, but specific castles 
throughout the game, you can just warp right back to, even if you're in a cave, unlike Wings of the Wyvern. So, yeah, let's go back to Nanyang there. And let's see how we're doing there. Oh, yeah, we didn't take very much damage. We'll be fine. I'm actually a little ahead on experience at this point. Usually, I'm still at about level 13. Now, if you want to potentially fight some easier enemies, if you hug the shoreline on the river to the south there, you might run into some Chapter 3 enemies instead of Chapter 4, though there's not really a huge difference. At least not in the generic enemies. The generals are much tougher in this chapter. But all right, we made it to Bohai. So let's see, I would like to give my equipment over to, or Ji Ling's equipment over to Liu Fang. Because I need a bit more intelligence for this fight. So yeah, something I like to do at about this point in the game and throughout the rest of the game many times, I like to have a seventh party member who's better at specific situations so I can swap my party members in and out and that seventh slot is actually useful. Okay, and then for the formation, yeah, we could just move everyone up one slot except for Li Jing there. Okay, that ought to be good. For boss time against Lu Guang, Shen Pei, and Gao Lan. Uh-oh, they got the jump on us. And some of them have over a thousand soldiers, so we need to deal with that quickly. Because they can deal massive damage with their physical attacks. Okay, so this is the reason why I said give all the power pills to Zhang Fei. So that way he can deal massive damage with the trident. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So yeah, Lu Guang is probably the biggest threat there. Shen Pei is also a pretty big threat with his intelligence. And Gao Man is not so threatening there. So what I want to do is let's have Zhang Fei use power pills on Shen Pei since I don't think my tactics would necessarily hit him. Meanwhile, I would like Guan Yu. Well, normally I would be using Shui Zing in this part, in this battle, because we're next to a water source. But because I've gained a level already, I'm going to use Yan Rei instead. But, so, if you're a little behind on experience, use Shui Jing on Lu Guang there. But the nice thing about Yan Rei is that it hits all enemies for fire damage. It is really, really good. I would also like to use Shui Jian because, as you saw, Shen Pei can use Shui Jing on us. And then Guan Ping and Lu Feng should use Yan Rei. And that'll make this fight a lot easier. Yeah, look at that damage. Now we don't even need to worry about rebel forces at all. If I was still using Shui Jing, though, I wouldn't even bother worrying about the rebel forces until the generals are dead. The rebel forces are, yeah, very weak. Their weapons aren't even close to what uh, the attack points that the these generals have. Yeah, look at that damage. Nice. Okay, so we should be pretty good for the rest of the battle. Maybe Guan Ping is a little light on soldiers there, but I think we'll be fine. Let's keep going with uh, Yan Rei, though. Shao Kang should probably, yeah, just attack Shen Pei there. Go with a little more Yan Rei. I think it costs 6 TP to use. And, yeah, that makes quick work of the generals here. So, where's, uh, Yuan Shao? I thought this was his castle. Hmm. I mean, he's not, well, I guess he wouldn't be on the front lines, but... Well, we'll have to check it out. Okay, um, yeah, how about we get a little healing in there? Just to be safe. Otherwise, though, I think we'll be fine. Maybe I should have had Zhang Fei attack one of the generals by himself. So his, uh damage wouldn't potentially be wasted, but no, it looks like we're doing pretty good anyway. 
Okay, now I think we can just auto battle the rest of this. And we're good! Hooray! Make it into Bohai Castle. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, I, I, I kind of figured that. Why don't we uh, rest up here while we're at it? Hmm, it's a little pricey compared to Nanyang, but okay, I'll pay the price here. Hey, how's it going? Zuja, who's that? Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we can't get to the north side of Bohai because this lady's in the way because she's wondering where her lover is, I, I guess. Is there a way we can get her out of the way? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.